Hello, my name is Jeremy Eastburn, and today we're going to be talking about the Boomi B2B EDI dashboard. The B2B EDI dashboard provides human readable access to all the relevant underlying data inside your correlated EDI documents to provide visibility as well as guidance for business optimization. So let's take a quick look at some of the key benefits and features of the new B2B EDI dashboard. First of all, it's human readable, and this is key here because we all know that the EDI message format, it's designed for machine-to-machine -machine automated collaboration, and it was not designed for intuitive access by humans. So the Boomi B2B EDI dashboard extracts that EDI data and presents it in the context of how a human interprets and is able to understand the transaction or business process. We also can provide faster responsiveness to inquiries. So the B2B EDI dashboard provides direct access to those lines of businesses that actually need rapid access to EDI related information. So that might be finance, operations, supply chain, customer support. They can all now self-diagnose these EDI driven business process issues. We also provide better visibility into business trends. So this dashboard enables those same lines of businesses to see trends that they might have missed if the EDI data was not elevated into more of a business context. We provide search and retrieve. So the dashboard provides multiple levels of search and filter capability so that business users can rapidly narrow the search and then easily investigate and resolve EDI issues. It is API driven for real time results. So it's surfacing real time data powered by our own Atomsphere API, which means you're never making decisions with stale or outdated business data. And lastly, it's customizable for your business needs. So what you're going to see in the demo in a few minutes here is really the idea of leveraging Boomi Professional Services or a Boomi partner to really expand the dashboard with additional functionality based on the unique requirements of any business. So now let's take a look at a demo of the new Boomi B2B EDI dashboard. As you can see here on the B2B EDI dashboard, we have two tabs up at the top right. We have general search and track PO. We'll take a look at both of these separately. First here on the general search screen, you can see here that we're allowing search and retrieval of EDI documents based on various filters shown here on the screen. So if we wanted to maybe perform a search between a start date and an end date as shown here, we are able to pull back a list of EDI documents in a human readable format. As you can see in the table below, everything is ordered by the date processed for that specific document. We can see the transaction set or document type, as well as the document number. This might be a purchase order number or a shipment number, uh, whatever a unique identifier is for that specific document. And then you can see we also have the sender ID and name, as well as the receiver ID and name. And lastly, we're showing the standard, whether it's X12, Edifact, RosettaNet, or any other standard that might be in use. We can also now view for any of these documents, we can click on the view more info, which will show in a pop-up some more specific or detailed EDI information about that document. We can also get the raw original EDI document for this row. Here we see the original document. So if you did want to provide a more technical or advanced view into the document uh, for maybe some architects that might be viewing this dashboard, you can offer this up as well. If we wanted to say narrow down our search results and maybe only show a sender ID of supplier one, we could perform that search. And now we see we're only viewing results for that specific sender ID. We can also perform wildcard searches within our table. If we wanted to maybe pull up or search on a specific document number, uh, we could do that here. Or if you wanted to maybe search by a specific ISA control number, we can do that. And now we're seeing only documents with that specific control number. Now let's switch gears and take a look at track PO. 
TrackPO is an example of what we might call a sub-module. So for an order to cache use case, you would be able to leverage this TrackPO screen to search EDI documents based off of a specific purchase order number. You might uh, have a use case such as warehouse transfer, 3PL, or any other use case that could be built by Boomi Professional Services or by a partner to extend that functionality for your end users. But let's take a look at TrackPO. We'll put in, for example, a purchase order number. We can see this purchase order is displayed in a human readable format. So at the top, we're able to see the ship to, bill to, ship from information, as well as some relevant uh, data points on the right but then we can scroll down and this is where we are seeing all of the related or linked EDI documents to that specific purchase order number that we had just searched for. So we can get a really quick human readable, uh, high level view of all of the documents for this purchase order number. Again, we can see the date process date, sender and receiver ID, the exact transaction set, a human readable description of what that transaction set is, as well as icons easily depicting the acknowledgement status for that specific document. So we can actually see, for example, this advanced shipment notice has been accepted with errors. If we wanted to, similarly as we could on the general search page, we can view up more info. In this pop-up, we can now see the acknowledgement report that is specifying the exact errors that were encountered. We could also view the raw document, but let's take a look at this get document details. This get document details button allows us to view again, human readable summary information for that specific document. So if we wanted to pull up document details for an 856, we see this advanced shipment notice summary information that allows the end user to view the sender and receiver information. Again, helpful ship to, ship from, or other relevant data, as well as all of the product line items that are included with that specific purchase order. This same summary information can be done for every single document type that we were viewing on the track PO screen. And what's helpful is that being in a business user friendly format, you're able to quickly determine or investigate any issues um, or errors that might have appeared in earlier transactions to get a holistic view of this purchase order. We can scroll down, return to our purchase order, and we can repeat this for any of our other document types. If we wanted to maybe pull up document details for a specific purchase order or the acknowledgement or the invoice, we can do that activity for each of these document types. So everything you see here is customizable. So whether it is this entire track PO submodule or the search filters on the general search page, everything can be built and customized to the exact specifications and requirements of every customer. So that's where we can leverage Boomi Professional Services to design the actual dashboard for each customer. I hope this has been helpful and thank you so much for your time.